Hi, I'm Jonathan Henson. I'm from AWS. I'm a tech lead on the Neuron kernel interface, which we'll be talking about here. Um, so let's get started. At AWS, we've built the Trainium and Inferentia instance families for Amazon EC2, purpose-built for accelerating deep learning, deep learning workloads. And these are powerful and innovative chips, and they can be used from your PyTorch or your JAX or your TensorFlow models. And you simply take the model, you run it. If you're on one of these instance types, boom, it uses neuron devices, and you are off and running. And yet, as we research and as we develop novel techniques and novel model architectures, we really need to be able to finally control certain computationally intense operations and then integrate it back with the model. And we needed a language to express this in. So what about the neuron device needs a special language to express things in? Well, we have a blowout here of the Trainium instance with a single neuron device on it. And as you can see, it is two cores with two HBM stacks, one for each core, a total of 32 gigabytes and 820 gigabytes a second. We have 32 DMA engines, and they move data across the cores. We have six collect collective compute cores, and then Neuron Link V2 for device-to-device -device collective communication. But from a programming perspective, what's really interesting is the compute engines. So as we zoom in on the compute engines, we'll see we have two software-managed on-chip SRAMs, an SBUF and the PSUM, the SBUF is 24 megabytes and it serves as the main data storage, and a 2 megabyte PSUM as a dedicated accumulation buffer for the Tensor Engine. Both SBUF and PSUM, importantly, and we'll get to this later, are considered two dimensional memories with 128 partitions each. The Tensor Engine, specifically designed to accelerate matrix multiplications, as well as the other operations built on matrix multiplications, such as rotations and convolutions. The Tensor Engine, or excuse me, the Vector Engine, explicitly built for accelerating vector operations, scalar operations on the Scalar Engine, but also including hardware acceleration for activate, nonlinear activation functions, such as square root and GLU. We have a general purpose GPSIMD engine, which can be uh, programmed with custom ops, but can also be used from within the compiler or emitted as well. And while we can successfully take models from PyTorch or other frameworks, compile them, and optimally use the hardware, the research is moving at such a pace, and as is the chip design, as we've seen this week, uh, to fully realize the wins of running these models on these machines and innovating with them, we really need to be able to program it directly and integrate that back into our model. And the natural starting point for us was Triton, because at the hardware level, Neuron Core's tensorized memory access enables efficient reading and writing of multi-dimensional arrays on a per-instruction basis. And this really makes tile-based programming highly suitable for programming a neuron device on the neuron core instruction set. And because it also operates on tiles fundamentally, and our programming model also uses a load, compute, and store idiom, and our customers are used to NumPy style index and slicing syntax in their current models today. And so in addition to the language constructs inspired from Triton, we also needed to specialize the language to fully express the neuron ISA capabilities and the slight differences in memory patterns, which we could talk about later. And so we built the neuron kernel interface. And namely, it exposes the uh, Nikki ISA API, and this allows users to finally control the instructions that are used to implement the kernel, and it's integrated with the types from Nikki language. And in addition, there is no addition, next. <laughs> and so we've already seen great success with this internally with our own deployments. So for example, with flash attention, using it to load keys and queries and values once, and then fusing the operations and writes back together, we gained over a 2.5% improvement in latency using Nikki versus the compiled XLA graph generated from Torch Autograd. And we also have had experience doing this with, 
with Mamba, a new state space model architecture designed around modern accelerator capabilities, and we run this for our own production models today. And so this is available in the latest Neuron SDK release. It's integrated with JAX and PyTorch and TensorFlow. You can launch it and run it on EC Amazon EC2 in seconds. We've also open sourced many of the kernels that we use internally in the Neuron compiler and are being used in production models today on GitHub. We have the link up here and we have documentation in GitHub uh, and the AWS docs as well. And so please come join us and let's see the ways we can innovate our deep learning models. Thank you.